Welcome to Chris Vivi Journey, where I take you on a trip to Vivi, always as an adventurer, never as a financial advisor. So please invest with caution. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about, but I try to make it quick. So first of all, I hope you like the new environment. While I wasn't uh, able to make a video yesterday, I spent all the time to upgrade my room, have some more lights and rearrange stuff. So only thing I still have to do is put some art on this wall and then we have a way better background to look at. I hope you like it. I hope you like the sound quality. And yeah, so let's get to the news. I don't want to bore you with all the, the other stuff. So um, first of all, sorry uh, if you watched my last video about the DC NFTs in cooperation with Palm. If you thought I could tell you how you get them, I didn't. And I, it's nine in the morning for me here in Germany. I just looked at the website from Palm and from DC Fandom. There's still no other news how to get them. Um, it seems like you will be able to just connect your NFT to your wallet, but there seems to also be something connected with Palm. So I'm not sure how that works. I was hoping I could tell you in this video already, but I am not able to. They haven't released any new info, so we have to wait. I guess uh, in a few hours they should roll out all the NFTs and then I will look out for any info on that and let you know how you will be able to get your NFTs. So um, yeah, with that out of the way, let's get to the VV news on Twitter. They announced a lot of new stuff that will come now for Comic-Con week. And this is really, really exciting. We start with Fantastic Four 13. That's the new comic dropping uh, today or better yet Tuesday, depending on time zone you're in. But for uh, uh, at VV time, it's Tuesday, 5th October, 8 a.m. again. So this is an awesome book. It's from 1963. It's the first type of Uatu the Watcher, which is the main character in the current What If animated show on Disney+. Plus. Um, very known character, very cool character. Also first app of Red Ghost and the Super Apes. I don't know anything about that, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very known character because I don't know. <laughs> so what's special about this drop is it's a blind box drop again. So you don't know if you get the common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare or secret rare, but this time the rare and ultra rare will actually be exclusive to VV covers. So you don't get them anywhere else. So I guess this is either the rare or the ultra rare. And here is the colored version. That should be the, I guess the colored version might be the rare and the ultra rare, the uncolored one, but I'm not sure of course. So this is a great drop. Totally excited about that. Um, the highest sale for this book was in 2019. The CGC 9.4 book was sold for 15.5K. So that's quite a bunch and I expect this book to be very loved among comic collectors on VV. So we see there's still some discrepancy between the comic collectors, how they collect and how these books perform on VV itself. I don't know if this is ever going to get away when all the collectors come in. Maybe the NFT lovers are just different, but we'll see. I know as a comic collector, I love this book. I, I'm really hoping to get one. I totally rooting for the, the rare and the ultra rare because of the different covers. So if I could get the rare and ultra rare, I might like them more as the secret rare, maybe. So if I pull one of those, I'm super, super happy. Really, there's nothing to complain about. So second thing is we get a new Spider-Man collectible. This time it's Ben Riley, the clone of Peter Parker. Uh, I'm not sure about the design of this piece because it's not recognizable with the, with the design from the books, at least not the first time Pete, uh, Ben Riley was introduced. So I'm not sure, but the, the, the logo is still the logo from the animated show also. So maybe this is a rendition of the animated show of the character. I'm not sure, but I'm super excited to get a Spider-Man collectible in a drop. I wasn't there for the first drop. I wasn't on VV yet, but this time I'm here and I'm really hoping to catch this character. And I, I guess I will say this to all the drops, like all of these drops are awesome. But uh, yeah, so two rarities are announced will be on Thursday, 7th of October, 8 a.m. So let's, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> it's just an awesome piece. So then on Friday, we get another comic drop on uh, at 8 a.m. 
and it's the one I caught. I actually caught this in the Discord chat not even 24 hours ago. I, I said they should go with Daredevil and they actually do. So it's Daredevil 1 from 1964. It's the first app of Daredevil, Foggy Nelson and Karen Page. And the highest sale for this book, uh, I don't know if it was this year or last year, but the highest sale was at $250,000. So this is super expensive books. If you've been there 10 or 15 years ago, you could get a really great copy for 5K. So this one really, really got expensive. Um, yeah, I'm super hyped about this book. And again, we get the rare and ultra rare Comic-Con exclusive covers to VV. Um, it's sad we don't get the name of the artist yet. So this is the, the black and white rendition of the cover. And here again, you get the colored one. It's really, really hard to see but yeah it looks great I, I, the colored one looks super awesome i guess um and again really hoping to catch one of those i mean there, there's you can't be so lucky so far i want to get two rares and uh and the spider-man drop so I, I don't think i'm that lucky but we'll see uh also this is a stan lee and jack kirby book super loved among comic collectors so this is a great drop if you're just investing I mean, no financial advice, but in my opinion, this is one of the key books you could invest in. And I will invest a lot in this book as much as I can, because I know this is a no brainer for comic fans. So the next drop will be, I guess, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday at 8 a.m. Uh, Marvel Mighties. It's actually Captain Carter. So that's again from the DC, uh, not DC, from the Disney Plus what if animated show right now this was the first episode where captain carter was uh, yeah she was captain america in this different alternate reality thing so uh, now we get the mighty character i'm not so much into the mighty characters but i guess i will go for this one because yeah, it's like with the labit I, I i missed out on the labits i went for the ultra rare labit in the last drop instead of the common because uh I felt the common was cooler and I wanted to have the common, but I went for the ultra rare anyway. That was so stupid. And this time again, uh, I kind of feel this is a cool character and I don't know. I feel the connection, so I think I get it. The Mighties are pretty uh, inexpensive, so that makes a lot of sense to get those. In my opinion, no financial advice again. So, and the last drop we get is on Sunday, 8 a.m. It's Thanos 13. It's from the Thanos Wins storyline. That was a great book. I read it. It's, it's awesome. Thanos Wins is a really cool story. If you're getting into comic books, yeah, you can definitely read this. It's a pretty new book. It's from 2016, if I remember correctly. So, written by Donny Cates. Donny Cates is one of the best writers right now in Marvel, or at least, say, one of the most known writers. Very, very successful and um, i can't wait to get my hands on that one this is special to me because i like the book it's a pretty modern book not so expensive well th this this book is like a hundred dollars if you have it in a good grade and one of the variants is actually almost 300 dollars in a high grade copy so pretty cool book um ungraded copies um might add so um it's not like it's a cheap book but if you take the daredevil one which costs like 250k it's a completely different thing but that's a book from 1963 while this book is from 2016 if i remember correctly so really cool all those variants it doesn't have a have a um exclusive variant like the rare and ultra rare from the two other books those are actually all variant covers that were actually made for Thanos 13 so if you look that book up you can find all of those covers and they had some great artists on they all look great so it's they had Mike McCone, Raphael Albuquerque, um, John Tyler Christopher uh, trading card variant cover and there's also a lenticular cover lenticular covers you might remember when you were small you had uh, all these images that if you turn them they they show they show two different images like sometimes with a 3d effect on it so that's a lenticular cover and that's also there so you don't have that in the app not that i know of but uh it's the cover design at least you get that so that's pretty cool also um maybe the drop i'm least excited about if you think about what it offers but still a book i really want to have but that's really personal for me though that i have to say this it's a more personal thing for me 
So how did I perform on the last drops? The last five drops I only got the rare glider from James Bond and this one doesn't perform too great on the marketplace so far. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to change in the future pretty quick and it will gain some, uh, gain some more value. But so far not so lucky so i hope that my luck was just ramping up for all these drops i'm so excited to get them really i i i hope i'm lucky so uh last thing i wanted to talk about are the david Yu um uh interviews he gave the last time or not interviews he's on on discord a lot and talks about stuff in youtube and he actually confirmed they're working together with apple and android um, regarding VR technology and some of the other stuff. So I don't know if this is really big news. Like, is it really, really special that they work together or does every major app work together with Apple and Android? I'm not sure about that. And he also, um, they also talked a lot about accessories for the collectibles, which sounds super great. So maybe in the future we have a possibility that we see that we can change stuff on our collectibles like color of the outfit maybe whole outfits or put something in their hands like guns or whatever like with action figures you would have different weapons or whatever that you can give them so pretty excited about that um that would mean you could i mean maybe not 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 make a one of a one of a kind character but it would also make the characters more scarce that you can actually change them up because if you have 7500 pieces of a character and half of those characters get uh, changed with colors or whatever then you only have half of the characters left in original format so this is interesting and i'm excited to see that in the future and how that actually turns out and how it will um, change the value of the stuff so yeah pretty excited excited about vivi there's a lot of stuff to see and to do in the future i try to find out today about the palm nfts i don't know it's it's here in germany it's already the 5th of, of, of october and i watched the website prior to this video and checked for all new info there wasn't any so i hope in the next hours we get new info and when i have new info i will make a new video and let you know how to get them so that's for now i guess yes that's all the info i wanted to talk about Thanks for your attention and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.